what's going on YouTube back out here in the garage today again with our JKU seems to be a running theme I think um, today what I'm getting ready to do is a quick oil change um, what you might notice here is that I have a regular Wix filter here regular Wix thread on filter um, and the reason for that is that I've got a modification on this Jeep that takes it from the cartridge filter that most of you would have in your JK, JKUs uh, on the 3.6 it's an adapter that allows for a regular thread on filter so the reason I'm showing you some of this is because of that um, there is, if we look real close down there, there is a uh, Schrader valve. So what this is doing for me is it's allowing me to use a regular thread on filter, but then it's also pressurizing this oil system and keeping oil in the upper end. I don't know if most of you have noticed with the 3.6, when you start those, they tend to clatter for just a few seconds right at startup, especially at a cold startup. Um, and the reason for that is that this engine is designed to allow all the oil in the, the system to drain all the way back down to the pan. And that happens in about 30 minutes after you shut it off. So what you'll notice is particularly in the morning or if it sat for a couple hours like I said you'll start it you'll get that chatter which is the upper end being dry you're just waiting for the oil pump to kick in suck that oil up and get it up to the valves so what this is a Baxter system uh, I'll see if I can get a link together for you guys and have that in the description of this video um, it is a Baxter adapter uh, Baxter being the company and again it allows you to use a thread on filter and there is an anti-siphon valve in there as well that keeps all that oil in the upper end and i've let this particular jeep sit for a few days um, without starting and at a cold startup it doesn't chatter any longer that's almost completely eliminated if not completely eliminated and uh you know that chatter is again everything being dry so this system allows ideally for longer life right we're we're keeping oil in the upper end it's getting to the valves much faster and providing lubrication at startup but changing the oil now is different and i've never dealt with this before again i, I pointed out that schrader valve that sits down there it's sitting on a 90 degree angle um, what I have to do as I've brought my air chuck over is I actually have to put pressure to that Schrader valve which will allow the upper end of the engine to drain and that's mentioned in the instructions so actually what I've done is I know based on the way this Jeep runs I've got a uh, scan gauge on the dash and I have it I've been monitoring the oil pressure for a long time actually since I put that system on there because it tells you uh, I think in the instructions it mentioned kind of knowing how much pressure you normally run and that you need to put pressure to that Schrader valve for it's like three to five seconds to let the oil out of the system so what I've done is I've turned my air compressor down to just below 40 psi I'm probably somewhere around 37 38 psi on that gauge um, and what that will do is allow me to only put that 37 38 psi of pressure through that Schrader valve I know that the Jeep under normal circumstances will sometimes run as high as 50 60 I've even seen maybe even into the 70s as far as oil pressure is concerned so I'm not concerned at all about putting 40 psi worth of air pressure to that Schrader valve to let that upper end of the crankcase or I'm sorry the upper end drain so I can get all the oil out of it so let me see if I can't set you up here and uh, 
we'll at least get that started. I did drive this just a little bit um, to go ahead and warm everything up. Got it up to almost operating temperature. I didn't want to get it super hot. I'm going to be crawling around under here. So, like I said, I just drove it around the block. Let it warm up just a shade so the oil will drain a little bit better. So let's see if we can get you set up and we'll get this going. I do not have any video of me originally installing this particular piece. Um, I did this all as part of I don't know how familiar you guys would be with the oil cooler that resides underneath your intake but from the factory that oil cooler is plastic um, so I, when I replaced the oil cooler I was not having a leak although I thought I was um, the leak was wasn't that um, but anyway when I replaced the oil cooler with an aluminum oil cooler, I also put this Baxter piece on here. So we're gonna go ahead and Well, I could really hear that. I don't know if you could hear that on your side, but I could really hear it forcing all that oil back. So the whole idea behind doing that and allowing or applying pressure to this valve is one, so when I take this oil filter off, it doesn't just drain all that oil everywhere. That should have emptied this filter and uh, allowed all that oil down to the pan. I'm also going to go grab some rags and we'll stuff some rags in here just in the off chance that uh, there's still some oil in there. Unfortunately, I can't get completely around that thing. And again, I've never, not never, this is the first time I've changed the oil since having this on here. So I don't exactly know what to expect. Take a look. Well, that's nice that that didn't drip even a little bit. But so here is that Baxter uh, adapter that I was talking about. Like I said, that allows for a regular oil filter to thread down on that. So. Like I said, first time I've done it since putting that on there. Um, putting pressure on that valve definitely emptied the filter as expected or as the instructions said. So let me grab this other filter and we'll get that threaded on there. All right, got that new filter and uh, gonna go ahead and uh, get this threaded back down on here. I did go ahead and put a little oil on the o-ring you know nothing's really changed other than the location of the filter from any other time so we'll get this rag out of here I guess the filter itself did drip on that I didn't see where anything else would have dripped down on there Trader valve. Get that 
that threaded back on there. Now we've actually got to get underneath and drain all the oil. Um, and I do have something down there, a little unique to show you there as well. Alright, so here we are under the Jeep. There's the oil pan. And like I said, I do have something a little unique there as well. dust cap on here. Keeps all the dirt out of that. And then what you have is this box in here. And then that will start the oil draining down into that pan through that tube. And We'll see if I can provide you with some more information on that as well. I do have the original package to that, or to one of them anyway. I've put these on all the vehicles. But yeah, that's been super handy. Um, doesn't really require any tools down here to drain the oil just lock that in there i do need to go take the oil off i never did do that but so yeah that's just a couple of the unique things i have in place on our jku for changing the oil like i said that's the first time that i've changed it since adding that baxter performance filter adapter on there um seemed to work really well actually uh i did use watched i you know put a little bit of pressure on it twice for about five seconds at a time and nothing dripped out of that filter other than well i say nothing might have got a drip out of that filter um but nothing nothing bad at all and like i said that thing does provide a lot as far as uh keeping the oil in that upper end for you know not having a rough start here once i get the oil back in this all i'll let you hear it start because right now what you'll hear is that clatter prior to putting this baxter on there and every start from that point until i change it again should uh should be nice and quiet like it's been I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it for you here real quick and let you hear that start up. Maybe you could hear the difference there when uh, the oil pressure finally came up and filled this top end and then I started it a second time just so you could hear uh, once the oil is already in the system. I, I do understand that you know any of them would not chatter just shutting it off for that short amount of time and turning it back on but uh, like I said with this Baxter system on here it has made a, a good difference. And the overall and like I said hopefully it'll uh, 
prolong the life of this engine a little bit. Right now, I think this thing's got right around 30,000 on it. But uh, yeah, she runs good. Put our engine cover back on. I keep that on here you know, for the idea that I have put a functional vented hood on here and that just helps keep the rain water from just you know cold water dripping down on the engine all right guys so that was just a quick oil change on the JKU here um, again like I said I just wanted to show that to you because I've got a couple unique things on here that maybe you hadn't seen maybe you have um, as always if you have questions comments please happy to hear from you guys um, and uh, like subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one